Hello, it is Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is time for a Tuesday crossword, which means should be another relatively approachable early week themed crossword, Tuesday crossword. Let's uh, let's hope that's what we're in store for today. And this hopefully approachable edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Camtron, Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, and as always, of course, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, and they are helping to keep this whole series going and to keep this channel uh, alive. So thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the Patreon campaign. They are, um, like I say, sustaining this whole enterprise. So thank you to them. Thanks to you if you're a part of it. And if you'd like to be, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find all of the bonus videos available to patrons, such as the um, uh, mini speed solves, and the uh, Boss Words Fall Themeless League series that is still running, the uh, most recent of which I posted the other day. Um, so check that out if you're a patron or you'd like to be. And also there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join via a description field link as well. It's a nice friendly chat community over there, so do consider it. And finally, um, do subscribe to the channel, like the videos, um, comment if you've got anything to say, and uh, those things are all helpful in their own way. So thank you to everybody who's done any of these things. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is, as I say, a Tuesday puzzle by Gia Bosco, who's constructed a small handful of puzzles for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. We'll have a theme today. Let's find out what it is. Let's start solving. Make millions, say. Rake it in or earn big, maybe. Win, earn big? I don't know if that's enough of a phrase for me to want to put it right in, but let's look at the crosses. React to an awful smell, maybe. Gags? So if so, what would this be? Make millions, say. Get rich? Oh, yeah. Might be as simple as that, actually. Dublin's land to Dubliners. Oh, Ira, I, I, I'm t- I, I know I, I often mispronounce this. I apologize if so. Um, but this would be name for Ireland in, in Irish. And um, pie hole. This is actually a funny one. Dublin's land to Dubliners. I mean, what this is saying is in the language of Dublin, of Ireland, but... Um, You know, I mean, realistically, uh, I suppose English would be considerably more, more spoken in Ireland than Irish. It's a funny, it's a funny, that doesn't really matter at all. The clue is perfectly clear, but um, but it's just an interesting uh, consideration around a kind of standard construction of New York Times crossword cluing when it comes to language. Anyway, pie hole, your trap, your mouth, your, your gob. Matthew Blank of the Americans. Matthew, Matthew Rees, I think. It's a Welsh name. That is a great show. That is really one of my absolute favorite, one of my absolute favorite uh, scripted series. Eye on the Periodic Table. Iodine, I think. College Catalog Assortment. Classes, I, I presume. And watch it. Hey, you could say, watch out. Hey. So here we have an opening and a pet carrier could be an air hole. A colorful rhyme for gloomy weather, a gray day. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, here's another sort of tech, sort of technical bit, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> colorful just implies, I suppose, in this case, having to do with color, which gray is. But of course, if you think of, if you say colorful, you think of something being bright and multicolored, which, which gray isn't particularly, but there we go. It is technically accurate. Here we have harmful reaction to an infection is sepsis. There we go. And a surveillance organization is probably the national security agency Uh, or administration. I can never remember. Anyway, be that as it may. Anyway, maybe. It's if you sort of are returning a conversation to its primary thread, you can say, anyway, be that as it may. It could be the answer. I'm not 100% certain. Color. Oh, right. Here's our theme. Ah, okay. (laughs) The colorful bit makes more sense now that I see that it's a, that it's thematic. Colorful rhyme for a filming background. Okay. So green screen. So uh, the idea here is just that obviously we'll have a different color beginning, well, presumably beginning each of these phrases. Maybe, maybe they won't all begin them. 
Birds in a gaggle, a gaggle of geese, they say. Um, you hear that sometimes. Multivitamin stat for short. Um, I don't know. I wonder if I'll recognize it when I see it. I might not. Copied. Aped, aped someone, you copied them, you mimicked them. Back to a, a, a boatswain or a bosun, as I, as I apparently it is always meant to be pronounced, even when it's not contracted. So back to a bosun would be the aft of, of, of a ship, of a boat. Okay, overly proper would be prim, prim and proper. To go bananas is to freak, to freak out. There we go. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Multivitamin stat for short. I, for some reason, I completely misread this clue, and I thought it was just saying a multivitamin, the name of a multivitamin, and it was going to be an abbreviation. I don't know why I read it that way. Uh, that's not what it was at all. It was a statistic, the recommended daily allowance of a uh, you know, particular vitamin. Mindy of the Mindy Project, Mindy Kaling, created and starred in that show. And sign seen at an SPCA center, perhaps. So this is the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, which would be... I don't know. don't know what that would, sign would say. Okay, with 46 across... Oh, any way is wrong. Anyhow, it must be. Because here we have colorful rhyme for 1966 Donovan hit... That would be the song Mellow Yellow, which in this case is split across two clues. Oh, and I only just realized, sorry, I hadn't picked up on this at all. This is a, a, a grid symmetrical about a vertical axis, as opposed to most New York Times crossword grids, which are radially symmetrical. So they're symmetrical if you rotate them 180 degrees. In this case, uh, it's symmetrical if you would fold the grid um, along a vertical line here. And... Um, I guess that must just be to fit in some of these, some of these theme clues like green screen, mellow yellow. So is this going to be another one of these? It is. Colorful rhyme for a ginger is redhead. So ordinarily, and this isn't always the case, but more often than not, our theme answers will be disposed symmetrically. So you can see here that along that axis of symmetry, we can predict where these answers will be. If we've, if we've seen one, we can see where the other one will be symmetrically. Uh, so there probably will be one here. There is colorful, albeit rare, name for an item at a hardware store. Interesting. Orange, probably, with that G there. Uh, colorful, albeit rare. The albeit rare makes me think I won't be able to just guess what this is. Orange. Yeah. And I was right. I can't guess it. So <laughs> let's keep looking around. Church council is a synod. There we go. What a street magician may use to collect tips. Hey, you could collect tips in a hat. A cakewalk, if something's easy, it's a cakewalk, it's a snap. And beam me up, Scotty, Star Trek misquotation. Right, I, I think this is one of those things where it never actually appeared in this exact formulation throughout the run of, of the original Star Trek, even though obviously it became a completely ubiquitous phrase. Okay, so what is, oh, the sign is adopt me. Right, I see. So this would be uh, on animals cage or enclosure or something. Hot dog topping could be relish. There we go. Uh, we haven't paid much attention to this bit of the grid. Let's look at it. Road goo would be tar. You could tar, you know, use tar in, in paving a road. And if you departed on a flight, you took off. Tiny country, country in the Pyrenees, Andorra probably. It's a, one of those micro states. And then what a Uno player has in a hand upon crying, Uno. What did I say? Uno? Well, that was a strange way to pronounce that. What an Uno player has in hand upon crying, Uno. Uh, oh, is it one card? Is that how that works? I haven't played Uno in, I don't know, decades, I guess. Okay, quirky person could be an odd ball, an odd one. Yeah, an odd one, maybe. Uh, Helmut Kohl was the German chancellor in the 1980s and 1990s. There we go. Uh, cookie often dipped in milk would be an Oreo, the official snack cookie of the New York Times crossword. There it is. And here we have Fran Drescher, leader of the 2023 SAG after strike. That's did see, did see her in the news for that reason. Um, passing crazes are fads. Um, oh, and this is the SAG after is the, the actors union. I'm sure that was known to... Uh, most of you, but I should have specified. Uh, anyway, 
passing crazes are fads. And then here is a series of colons, the punctuation marks. So that's simply what that is. Uh, Lyra's brightest star. I'm not sure offhand. What about the crosses? The night before, something would be its eve. Swell could be neato. What fireflies and happy faces do? They glow. There we go. Bit of band equipment is probably an amp. Oh, right. Vega is a star, so it must be. It must be Lyra's brightest star. I didn't specifically know that offhand, but it must be the case. So then one's domain is one's realm, and we'll finish amp with this. To outdo someone would be to top them. There we go. If a party is hopping, it's lit. And there we go in the modern parlance. And partner of a crossed T would be a dotted I. Cross your T's and dot your I's. Or dot your I's and cross your T's. Which direction is sounds more natural? I don't know. In any case, you do those two things in an order. Uh, South American grasslands would be uh, Llanos. There we go. I've probably mispronounced that, but at least I know the word. <laughs> so there we have it. Roman senator who insisted, oops, who insisted Carthage must be destroyed. You know, this is Cato who famously ended all of his orations with, you know, regardless of subject, with this little book, with this, this little uh, coda, Carthage must be destroyed. All right. Tehran's land would be Iran. And hot and spicy as salty, salsa would be picante. So um, exactly as it says, hot and spicy in Spanish. And then corn cake would be uh, pone, corn pone. I think that's that's the answer there. So let's just check the crosses to be sure. Finland joined it in 2023. Yes, Finland joined uh, NATO in the wake of, of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And the grandson of Adam is Enos. There we go. One of those one of those Genesis characters. Heaven on Earth would be Eden, I guess, from another, actually, I suppose, also from Genesis in the Bible. And then big name in tractors would be Deere, uh, the John Deere farm equipment company. Pages that point to other pages would be an index of a book where you might look up a particular topic or name or something. A massive reference work here, at abbreviated REF, would be the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary, abbreviated OED. Oh, and of course, because we have reference abbreviated in this clue, that means we're going to have an abbreviation in the answer as well. So just always how that works. To look carefully over something would be to pour over it. And because the over is in, um, uh, because it's in parentheses, it means we apply the over both to the clue here, but also to the answer. So look carefully over, pour, over. Sticky notes are post-its. That's a brand of sticky note paper, obviously. Um, big name and cassette tapes once. Oh, Memorex. Right. I remember. I remember Memorex existing. And I think they had a... I th was it Memorex who had the famous ad with the guy sitting in the chair listening to music on a Memorex branded cassette tape and it's sort of every this hair was being blown back and everything was sort of as though we were in a sort of wind tunnel or something. Uh, maybe it was a different brand. I don't know. Anyway, soccer star ham, Mia Ham is a famous enough sports person that I know who she is. Uh, just saying something. Not quite on time would be late-ish, I suppose. So what is this? Oh, an orange door hinge. What? Oh, I see. Orange, orange, orange. So I guess the point here, this is almost a sort of meta linguistic joke, I guess. Orange is sort of famously a word that doesn't have any sort of true rhymes in the English language. I don't, I don't know if that's technically true, but that's certainly a thing that, that people often say. And so I guess the idea here is that uh, our constructor Gia Bosco has contrived to create a sort of slant rhyme, you could say a kind of half rhyme, or if you pronounce it, in a in a forgiving way, orange dorange um, would be, <laughs> and and then additionally she indicates this would be a rare, a rare item at a hardware store because yes I can't imagine there are too many orange door hinges but uh, but there we go she's created her orange rhyme. Okay, if you're hooked on something you're into it. What you might say is you crack open a beer. You might say TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Perhaps that's when you crack open the beer. And then a medieval worker would be a serf, so uh, in a feudal system. And then 
Here we have a ruckus would be a stir, a sort of commotion or an ado. And then Benjamin, who wrote The Tao of Pooh. Uh, I, I don't know this author, but it must be Benjamin Hoff. So there we go. That was the Tuesday crossword. We uh, managed to get through it unscathed. And let's take a look at our theme. We had uh, our gloomy weather, a, gr- a gray day, ginger, a redhead, um, a filming background, a green screen, the 1966 Donovan hit Mellow Yellow, and finally, the rare hardware store item, the orange door hinge. Uh, so there we go. A colorful theme by Gia Bosco. Um, and I suppose, actually, this is one of these where you don't technically need to understand the theme in order to solve it, but it helps once you do. Um because you just sort of get what's going on and then you aren't, you, you don't need to think of each of these sort of from scratch. You know that they're going to start with, with the name of a color. So that, uh, that is a bit helpful. And, uh, and there we go. Um, otherwise I think a fairly approachable Tuesday puzzle. Let me know if you agreed in the comments or the daily self discord chat server. Always curious to know how people fared with these. Um, but there we go. I think we got through it in reasonably good time. And I'll be back tomorrow for the midweek Wednesday crossword, when maybe we take a little bit of a step up in difficulty. We'll just have to see. Um, Join me tomorrow and find out. And until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. (laughs) 